In today's video, we've got another location where you can get up to five easy shinies in your copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It has been a little while since we covered one of these shiny location videos on the channel, but great to be doing it again. And today is a goodie. We've got a great location for you where you can get, like I said, up to five really easy shinies in your game. And I've marked out the spot here. It is just behind the Ice Shrine area and it will be in West Province area one. We are at the Pokemon Center, the central one. From here, you are just going to want to head towards the windmills. It's a really easy location to find. And I'm surprised I haven't covered this one already because it's got some, like I said, some really good Pokemon. You're going to be able to get Gibble from this location. You're going to get Larvitar if you have got Pokemon Scarlet. Obviously, that is an exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet. Sorry for you, Pokemon Violet players. Uh, you're also going to be able to get Makuita to get yourself a shiny Hariyama as well as Salandit. There's many Salandit locations, but it does appear in here. Gumshoes as well as Young Goose and Dunsparce as well, all are going to be able to have easy spawns and easy catch rates so the idea is to come into this cavern here and this is where the location is for this you want to get yourself the, it dips down the cave right here and it's just where it kind of goes starts to kind of slant up a bit right here is where the location where you're going to want to set your picnic up is on the map it will be right behind the ice shrine or the ice wren shrine as it's called and this is literally where you're going to want to set up your picnic so the first thing to do before any shiny hunt is obviously just just drop a save here and once you've dropped a save it's just in case when you set up a sandwich part it lasts for 30 minutes if you don't get the shiny in that 30 minutes you can just reset your game and then you can come back into it set up the same sandwich again and start the process over without wasting any resources so the first one that we're going to go for in this cave is going to be gibble and all you want to do is come and set up a sandwich now there are many different sandwich recipes that you can you can set up here to get the specific encounter and specific sparkling power that you're looking for and it will be for dragon types uh, i will link sandwich recipes in the description so you can take a look at all of the different ones but just for the sake of today's video i'm going to do a very quick recipe just using avocado and then two salty herba mysticas which is the quickest recipe uh, if you've got spare salty herba mysticas this is fine to do obviously there are other methods where you can mix the herba mysticas to get the same kind of result once you've done this you get that sparkling power level three and in canopy power level three for dragons and we are set to go so once you've got that set up you want to just take down your picnic and the next thing is just to watch all of these gibbles come in now you can use your camera function here which will allow you to zoom in a little bit better and you can also use the zoom function as well which is just double tapping your home button and that'll zoom in even further so if you're new to this and you're curious how to get this zoom function set up you want to just come down into your system settings and then down into system and then down into zoom and it'll be an option just down below everything here and just make sure it is on so you want to just toggle it on and that will allow you then when you're in the game to put your camera on and then hit that home button twice and it'll zoom in a little bit further it just gives you a better way of spotting the shinies now for the gibble it's a pretty easy one to detect the underbelly of a regular gibble as you can see is red and the underbelly of a shiny form is going to be yellow so it's really easy to spot it's also a bit more blue than this kind of dull blue that the the regular gibble is so it is an easy one to spot and all you want to do from here yeah, once about 15 to 18 have spawned in you're not going to get many more you just want to come back out of your camera function set up a picnic it'll despawn everything in the area and then you're going to be able to just take your picnic straight back down do the process once again uh, go back to your camera and then double zoom in and there you go that is all we're going to do repeat this over and over and over again until the shiny spawns in and of course like i mentioned as well if you go through the 30 minutes of your sandwich power your sparkling power and you don't get a shiny just reset your game come back into this save state set up the sandwich once again and then just go for another 30 minutes for me it took two sandwiches for me to get the shiny give up but here we go we finally do get it and and you can get it in whatever ball you like. It's advisable when the shiny does appear. If you just save your game in front of it, if you're wanting to get in a special ball, I really wanted to get this gibble in a lure ball. So just in case that you fail on your first attempt, then you can reset and come back into it and then try and get it again. And we do manage to get it quite 
quickly after resetting after the first kind of fill with the lure ball and it's also advisable to have a false swipe user in your party as well just so you can get the pokemon down to like one hp you can't knock it out with false swipe so it's a really nice way just to increase your chances of catching it in any of these special balls that you've got available so that is the hunt for gibble and getting yourself a shiny pseudo legendary pokemon the next one that we're going to look for is in this location going to be makuita which will then allow you to get a shiny makuita and a shiny hariyama again for this one i'm just going to use a very quick recipe here it will just be pickles and then two herba mystica salty ones it will give you the encounter power and sparkling power level three for fighting types and it will be the only fighting type that will appear in this cave system so it's going to be a nice and easy one for you to get once again and makuita quite easy to identify normally its gloves are a really dark gray black color but the shiny form has red gloves so that is going to be a big giveaway for you to getting this makuhita which is a really nice shiny to get in hariyama one of my favorite shinies as well so it's a really good location for it i know hariyama pops up around various locations in paldea but this feels like a very nice area just to come if you are wanting a shiny hariyama to come and hunt it and once you've got the sparkling power set up it's a pretty similar setup to how we hunted for the gibble that the makuhitas are all going to spawn in at the end of the cave here and you're just going to use that zoom function once again just waiting for all of them to kind of spawn in like i say it'll be about 15 to 20 of them that will spawn in at a time when they stop spawning in uh, and the shiny's not there then just set your picnic up and you'll be able to kind of get more spawns in so it's pretty much the same process until that shiny pops in again before you start it just make sure that you do drop a save just in case you don't get the shiny on the first time around again the maki heater wasn't something i got on the, the first sandwich i set up i had to set up a couple of sandwiches until i did get the shiny but it eventually popped in and it was easy to spot like i say i will put the shiny version on the on the screen as well so you can have a look at that so you know what you're looking for instead of having to go elsewhere outside of the video but once it does pop up you'll be able to get it again if you want to catch it in a special pokeball again just like the garchomp just make sure you drop a save before you encounter it and then when you do use your false swipe user get it down to one hp and then you'll be able to have a better increased chance of getting it with one of those special pokeballs and makuhita a really nice shiny to go after as well now the next one we are going to feature in today's video is going to be for another pseudo legendary it is going to be for lavatar and it will be the pre-evolution of Tyranitar. Unfortunately, like I say, this is just an exclusive for those Scarlet players. If you've got Pokemon Violet, this won't be available in your games, but because it is a pseudo legendary Pokemon, I did want to include it in this guide. And it is a really nice shiny to get as well if you've got access to Pokemon Scarlet, of course, and a really easy way to get yourself uh, a Lavatar in the game. So this is what you're going to need to do. Set your sandwich up. Like I say, there will be different sandwich recipes linked in the description if you want to mix and match your Herba Mystica. But for the easy, straightforward one, it is one serving of jalapenos and then two salty herba mystica and that will give you the encounter power and sparkling power level three for rock type pokemon don't do it for ground types because there are a few ground types that spawn in this location you're going to get gibble for one you're going to get diglett and you're going to get uh, the lava tar so you'll get a mix of spawns and by doing the rock you're only going to get the spawn for the lava tar which makes it a lot easier to hunt and just reset like we've been doing using the same method taking your picnic down when all of the spawns come in and then just setting it up again when all of the spawns are out and uh, the shiny hasn't popped up and this one again isn't going to be too difficult for you to spot the, the lava tile when it comes in as a shiny again get your zoom function on the underbelly of the lava tile is normally red uh, the underbelly of the shiny is purple so that's the big first indicator that you're going to look for and the shiny is a lot more green like a more vibrant green than the regular normal form of lava tile so it's an easy shiny to spot and again just like we've been doing with the previous two shiny hunts you want to just wait for all the spawns to come in if none of them are shiny then just set your picnic up again 
again it's a really easy shiny hunt once the picnic set up you can take it straight back down and the spawns will start coming in again and the shiny shouldn't take you too long to get but if you follow the principles of just saving before you set your sandwich powers up and if you don't get the shiny you can just reset and then come back in and set your sandwich power up again and hunt once again but you can see here that the lava tiles are spawning in pretty quickly and this is a quick process for you to get the shiny in once you do get the shiny in it's a nice one to get it's easy to spot like i say and there we go we've got it right here and this was actually done on my first sandwich so we're pretty lucky with this one and uh, we have plenty of time left so if you want to hunt for more than one of these pokemon in this location then you can just carry on until your sandwich power runs out hopefully you can get maybe two or even three if you're really lucky of the same pokemon in their shiny forms which is nice uh, a nice option for you to be able to do with these pokemon and another shiny that you can hunt for in this specific location is going to be salandit and you will be setting up a sandwich power for poison type so the encounter power level three and sparkling power level three for poison type pokemon you can use a quick recipe of one portion of noodles and then two salty herba mysticas or just reference the sandwich recipes that I've got linked in the description for a mix and match recipe of Herba Mystica to get the same results. It's the encounter power and the sparkling power that you want. But once you've set that up, you will see exactly the same as the other hunts. The Salandit will appear in that cave entrance and you're just going to use the same process of just setting your picnic up and down until the shiny spawns in. Now, now Salandit's body, when it is shiny, will be a white color. So it's pretty easy to spot. It can be a little bit tricky with the lighting in this cave, but you're going to be able to to spot it quite easily using the camera and then your zoom function you'll be able to spot the shiny coming in pretty easily and the other one to mention as well for this location that can be quite good to hunt is going to be young goose and uh, gum shoes they both spawn in this location and mixed in with those is going to be dunsparce as well so you can hunt dunsparce dunsparce don't spawn as regularly as the other pokemon but you're going to get a good spawn selection of the young goose and gum shoes spawning in in this area as well so they are the five pokemon that we were going to feature in today's episode including two pseudo legendaries that you can get Get very easy in your copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I hope you found today's video useful. If you have, please drop a like. It does really help the channel. And if you've got any requests that you would like to see us cover here on the channel, there's still a bunch of shiny hunts that we haven't covered yet on the channel. Do leave a comment down below. Let me know what you would like to see featured going forward as we get closer to the DLCs. I would really like to get through a few more before the DLCs come out. So then we can concentrate solely on the DLCs and the new hunts that we have available in those. But thank you so much for tuning in do subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with all our pokemon scarlet and violet content have a great rest of your day friends thank you for tuning in and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye